there's a big Jewish population in Squirrel Hill, so it was easy for me to stay really close to my Jewish roots. I went to a Jewish preschool, a Jewish elementary school. I spent my summers at Jewish summer camp, so I'm on a Jewish swim team. My kids were very close with the rabbi at Tree of Life. And Tree of Life was a home away from home for us in a lot of ways. By the time I was six or seven years old, I'd be able to run around that synagogue Tree of Life and just do what I wanted. We felt safe. gunman opened fire on the Tree of Life synagogue and he shot 11 congregants dead. I didn't really know how I was supposed to react or how I could react or what I should be doing. I think of Tree of Life and what happened there daily still. It's part of my everyday existence, part of the fiber of who I am and um, who my family is. Isn't that garlic on there? Yeah. I don't really remember those two days very much. All I remember is yelling at my mom a lot, or so she says. Then I just got really mad at her for like everything she did was like wrong, like crying was wrong, calling my grandmother was wrong, like everything. My children have all been scarred to different degrees, knowing people that were there, knowing where certain people were standing at the time that they were likely murdered. So not only am I dealing with my own feelings towards it, I'm working with four teenagers who are really struggling with why do people hate us just because we're Jewish? Everybody in our community has been affected in some way or another. I started going to therapy and I've been diagnosed with PTSD and I'm continuing to work through it. I was one of the younger kids on the bus and this older kid gets up in the back of the bus and he was like, who on this bus is Jewish? And another girl and I, we looked at each other, both Jewish, we're like, uh, and she stood up and she goes, well, why do you want to know? And he was like, because all of you deserve to be in a gas chamber. And she just sat down and we drove home. Yeah, I feel like we. Should, I feel like our our call to action is just like join the task force to do more. Kaylee has an extreme fire in her belly for change, and it's really something that she was born with, and something that inspires her from within. I'm an activist because of the times we live in. I'm an activist because I simply cannot allow injustice to go unchallenged. I'm an activist because I can't unsee all of the damage that has happened. And, alive and here we are today, six months later, and 11 people in my community were murdered by the same... To me, um, what happened at Tree of Life is split into two different categories, one of anti-Semitism and one of gun violence. And both are really strong, powerful issues that our country faces today. The Holocaust 
did not start with the gas chambers. It started long before with hate speech. Therefore, we need today to be vigilant. We are seeing a rise of anti-Semitism around the world, and particularly in Europe, in the United States, everywhere. This rise of anti-Semitism we are witnessing is being accompanied, if I may say, with all the forms of intolerance. We are seeing anti-Muslim hatred. We are seeing Christian minorities being targeted. We have to understand that your God is not better than my God. Your religion is not better than my religion. One of the most special moments after the shooting was on the Friday night, which was the first Shabbat after. There were hundreds of people from local churches lining the street of the synagogue to pave our way in and everyone was holding a candle and the kids who were too young to be holding candles just stood there with hearts and nobody spoke, everyone had tears and there was so much comfort because we were scared to go to synagogue. I will never be able to put into words how much that meant to me. The Office of the Special Advisor on the Prevention of Genocide is engaging with tech companies, namely Facebook, to try to see how we can join this battle against those who are spreading hatred around the world.